IoT is very useful in the manufacturing environment. You can use it almost everywhere. You can use IoT on your non-production equipment. So think compressors, water, uh, tanks, um, power inputs, power consumption. You can also use it in all of your production equipment. So think about monitoring, um, you know, if you have a bottling line, the number of bottles that are coming down a conveyor or monitoring whether or not a machine tool is cutting. You can also look at data coming out of the PLCs to determine if a machine is running correctly. So there's a lot of different places that IoT adds value in manufacturing. So what is IoT? IoT is at its core connecting things via a network. That's the basic, basic thing. So I wanna connect some sensors, I wanna connect those sensors to a network, and then I wanna do something with that data. To make something useful with IoT, you need to add a couple of layers above that. So you have to have a way to contextualize this information. So, you know, a temperature reading doesn't tell you much if you don't know anything about where it's coming from. So you wanna have that. And then you need to have a tool that allows you to dive into that data, look at that data, explore that data to really understand it and use it. And then many people will also say that you should use some sort of machine learning or AI or statistics on top of that to really predict and understand what this data is telling you and make it a lot more useful. So at its core, IoT is connecting things together to a network and really understanding the data that it's providing to you. And it works across any industry. So an Apple Watch is an IoT device. A phone is an IoT device. Your car, if you have a new one, is an IoT device. It's literally everywhere.